Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to a floss tube extra. Um, I got my November box from the Black Needle Society. I don't know why there's a big white sticker on it. My address is on the back. So anyway, um, I have cut it so we can get into it. Um, and I absolutely, oh, there's a chunk. Okay, now I know why there's a sticker on it because there's a chunk taken out of my box. Anyway, that explains it. <laughs> um, November's box is back to the 80s. Um, I have been hanging for this box because I am a November baby and I was born in the 80s. Um, actually, I think this video is going up on Friday the 24th of November, which in the US is Black Friday. In my neck of the world, it's my birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday to me. Um, obviously I'm filming this before the 24th. If I look a bit pale, it's because I'm not feeling great, but it is what it is. Anyway, back to the 80s. So this is our um, <laughs> booklet newsletter. <laughs> Um, there is a spoiler card and then there is a note from the lovely ladies of the Black Needle Society. Um, the next box coming up, which will be, I want to say January, it is January 2024, is Saturday morning stitching. So, um, yeah, uh, designer for the month's box is Flossy Fox Shop. Oh my God, for a Sunday morning stitching, Saturday morning stitching, that's going to be crazy. Um, Stitch and Read is on the back, so Ready Player One and My Best Friend's Exorcism. Um, and then some info on books with BNS. Oh, I miss, I miss the pictures. Anyway, let's jump into it. There are a lot of, oh no, I just did what Lynn's husband did, spilled them everywhere. This <laughs> These are my wormies. There's a lot of wormies. Oh no, they went everywhere. Okay, they're all over the floor. I'm gonna grab what's on top of the box. And that is our pillow box. So as always, it's a specialty floss. It is, mm, these are really, <laughs> these are so 80s. Okay, where am I putting this? Putting them in my box with my uh, nice list wrappings because I pre-filmed every single day of December. I had to pack up stuff that was up there so there were no spoilers. Anyway, this is the totally, totally 80s specialty floss. Um, this is hand dyed by Color and Cotton. Is there anything more 80s than a hairband? What about the famous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles catchphrase, Cowabunga? So this is hairband. This is totally 80s. And this is Cowabunga. Now, my favorite Ninja Turtle was Donatello and he was purple. Um, because he was purple, that's why. Anyway, this is the, this is the floss. Amazing, amazing. All right, next up. Oh, I so wish I would <laughs> could put my hair up, but I'm filming floss tube after this. So this is a regular scrunchie, not a giant scrunchie. So this is the Stranger Things scrunchie. This is made by Fable Bands. Eleven may not have actually been hanging out in Hawkins in the 80s, but we love uh, but we love her self-chosen romper from her mall trip in season three. Uh, this scrunchie uses the same fabric from the romper's design. Scrunchies were actually invented in 1986 by Romy Hunt Refson. I was born in 86. Amazing. I want to put my hair up, but it's not going to happen. It's already got a kink because I had it clipped up because I'm not, I'm not feeling great. Um, all right. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because a lot of, a lot of crinkles, but this is the Rubik's cube. Sisyphob curated by the Black Needle Society. Uh, whilst this cube was actually invented in 1974, it wasn't released until 1980. Attach it to your scissors or a bag if you prefer and test your skills when you need a brain break. So 
So how cute. I don't know how to do these, but I love that. So 80s. So 80s. Uh, okay. I love these. I love this. This is so cute. Okay. So next up is this totally amazing washi tape. So this is High Tops washi tape made by Pick Sticks. Pip Sticks, sorry. Um, while Converse High Tops have been around since the 1910s, it gained mass popularity in the 80s and was a staple to the decade's fashion. Use this washi tape in your 2024 planners or it's a fantastic accessory when fully finishing your stitch pieces on a sewing machine to help you keep a straight line. I didn't even think of that. I cannot stitch a straight line and didn't even think about putting washi tape down. <sighs> the things you learn. Um, I love this. I, in the early 2000s, was an emo kid, but I had a lot of high tops because, you know, that's what emo kids did. Anyway. <laughs> Can you see? Can you tell that I was an emo kid? Um, moving on. Next up is... Okay, this is amazing. I'm going to open this just because... I want to... I want to put it further down so you can see the designer name. So, this... Let me... This is the Game Over Needleminder made by Rebel Stitcher. The Game Boy was a latecomer to the 80s, debuting in 1989, but it forever changed the gaming industry. We love a good Game Boy. I have... Um, the 3DS and the 3DS XL, and both of them are like limited collector's edition Legend of Zelda ones. Um, but I grew up playing this little bloke. <laughs> um, so that's super cute. This is my first Rebel Stitch and Needle Minder and it's hefty and I cannot wait to get this on a pattern. <gasps> Maybe this is the push that I need to start my Mario Through the Ages that Athena is also doing. Maybe. Because that is going to go on that. With my Princess Peach one. Oh, maybe I need to start that. Let me know if I should. Um, all right, I'm gonna move the wormies out of the way. Ooh. Okay. This is, this comes together. So it's the Time to Die uh, tie-dye kit and fabric made by Gift Republic. Tie-dye gained popularity as a protest art in the 1960s. However, the 80s, uh, hang on, where am I? However, by the 80s, designers began incorporating the look into their fashion shows. Use this tie-dye kit to design your own fabric. We've included a cut of plain white cross-stitch fabric for you to experiment with the dye. And this is a 16 count. Because that was my preference. Um, so this includes 15 rubber bands, two pairs of disposable gloves, an instruction booklet, and three bottles of dye in pink, yellow, and cyan. Maybe I can... um. Dye some even weave <laughs> as well, because I have some plain white even weave. Um, all right, there is a little. Oh, it's sealed. Oh no, it's not. Uh, not as satisfying as the nice list ones. Okay, these are not zipper pulls. Here we go. I'm going to turn it because it's twisted. Okay, so these are the 80s zipper pulls. I'm not sure if this is going to focus because that is really glittery. Um, um, so these are by Abby Malaga Art, or Artwork Is. Golden Girls premiered in 1985, and we will forever have this theme song stuck in our heads. Speaking of songs, Video Killed the Radio Star was the first song to play on MTV's debut broadcast in 1981. I would like to sing because this is currently playing in my head. However, it's not happening. <laughs> um, I love this. I was, I love this box because I was in a high school play because I was that theater kid um, called Back to the 80s. 
so good with the teased hair and the side ponytail with the scrunchie and the arm warmers <laughs> and the oh anyway it was great um I I'm gonna say this here and don't ask me to sing because it's not happening I can sing I can carry a tune very well um I in that play in the back to the 80s play I was off stage singing for one of the main characters while they lip synced and what could be more 80s honestly it was fantastic anyway not you know forever salty about that <laughs> it's fine everyone knew it was me so it was a non a non issue but the girl that was chosen could act but she could not sing um i i love this okay so this is the mixtape project bag um artwork is by doodle by meg um the song don't you by simple minds was released in 1985 along with one of the most iconic movies of the decade the breakfast club we've included it now back to the 80s playlist which you can find on spotify by scanning the code below so we do have a code for spotify and oh my gosh i need that playlist now this is going to be in my head i love this project bag what do i want to put in it probably the project the the pattern from this kit i mean from this kit from this box because it's magical and i need to start it because i saw it when i lifted this up um so i'm gonna go into the last thing in this box and that is the pattern and it is by silver creek samplers who i love um and it is the mem memory era pattern so this is designed by silver creek samplers diane created this pattern especially for our society stitches she was inspired by the U2 song, I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For, which released in 1987. While we children of the 80s and those before may not remember what we had for breakfast this morning, we'll always be able to sing along with Bono's lyrics. Mm, I don't agree with that because I, controversial, cannot stand U2. It is not my jam. At all. <laughs> but I love this. So it says... Can recall most 1980s lyrics, but I still can't remember the reason I came in this room, which is literally me all the time. So I absolutely cannot wait to start this. Um, so it's called Memory Era. It is 123 by 77. It's all DMC. Um, and it was stitched on cream and sugar from Fiber on a Whim. Um, and Diane says, who can, who can forget the totally rad eighties? Remember wearing bright neon colored geometric patterns while also sitting by the radio, eagerly waiting for your favorite song to come on, then jumping to press the record button. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> How about leg warmers that wound up slouched around your ankles, those shoulder pads that rivaled an NFL linebacker. And what about wind suits that swooshed as you walked and resembled color coordinated trash bags? <laughs> Let us not forget the makeup, which surely was the envy of circus clowns everywhere. Such fond memories that are forever etched in our brains. And yet today we experience a memory error when we're trying to recall the reason we came into a room. I love this. I so want to start this. Had I not picked my birthday start, I would be doing this. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, what did I, what was my favorite thing in the box? Mm, everything, because everything was rad. Um, loved it. Fan fantastic um i really want to start that pattern i don't have time to start that pattern but it is going high up on my list to start um okay so this is absolutely amazing um any overstock items will be available in the vault um i'm pro there will probably be a comment from ross about this having back to the future on it but there not being any back to the future items on it because back to the future is his favorite film <laughs> so he may be a little bit salty but any overstock items will be in the vault. Use my code Stitch by Liz to get yourself 5% off in the vault. Treat yourself. Um, I'm not sure what is available. So if you want something, you better get on there quick. Um, so that's all for this unboxing. I'm going to pack everything up. And maybe kit up <laughs> that, that pattern. Um, anyway, do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.